Yo, Circle 7 medallion on, might have a fez on Might be on the couch with your son getting an air on On heights blackout, not profiles for Trayvon Misguided young moors getting their jail or grave on Basketball and entertainers getting their slave on No charges, hosts get their little boy rape on False prophets got people worshipping shaitan Selling souls, loose cypher getting their stake on Rare still blood dripping, not on the apron Shield dip the splash, sash and Moorish cape on Grand dragon palm clasping mask the mason More still but subject of the Moorish nation More still in our own land More still in our homeland more still no Indian treaty with no man More still on the studies won't fall for your program More still in our own land More still in our homeland More still no Indian treaty with no man More still on the studies won't fall for your program You got your birthright like torches controlling your forces Turning master churches, Moorish fortress on the hill attracting tourists. How we do this and did this, sign seal, prince, and witness. My birthrights can't compare to paper terrorist misfits. Pseudo sovereigns on the dirty, more dipshit. Solving their own problems, dry hang you. Magistrate and DA gay, Mr. Gang bang you. Banging you like black power should be banging the beast. They made a crack a cry or even kissing their feet. Moorish team. Moorish MC, Moorish beats, casting out rapping civil or mortis creeps. I'm rooting for the underdogs, always for meeks. Underachievers, non believers, and freaks. Cause believers have no faith when they start a hope. Stay far, or it's them and you on the rope. More still in our own land. More still in our homeland. More still no Indian treaty with no man More still on the studies won't fall for your program More still in our own land More still in our homeland More still no Indian treaty with no man More still on the studies won't fall for your program Slaves swinging and swaying for blinging and playing More's parrot and the prophet won't do what he's saying I never said said cause prophet's not dead Thought of Allah, don't care about your Twitter tweets or Facebook threads Manifesting virtual, computer turn idle War's cyber, booby trap net, optics fiber Won't make me follow some Pied Piper Put me on, won't take me off like dry diapers Change the world without a bullet, no snipers, no recoil Five on the chest stance, Moorish B boy, Moorish master MC, rapper body caster, rappers are molded like plasticine, get bodied after, sent on his white horse to the thereafter, sent back for more still and stay here after, with no standing, sheet force your landing, more still expanding and hex handing, more still in our own land, more still in our homeland. More still no Indian treaty with no man More still on the studies won't fall for your program More still in our own land More still in our homeland More still no Indian treaty with no man More still on the studies won't fall for your program Sell out or get bought out for cooning Being your example to follow with no strain Met means mind, so govern and entertain Is more than you imagine Carbon is melanin Quran and Bible angels are cherubim and seraphim Riding on the light angles Traveling at warp speed We created cross reads Now we can't walk free The mind is the plantation Everything is mental Even filling your brother with lead like a pencil Mercenaries with chalk Use bodies as a stencil If rival gangs won't stop you Barbed wire fence well, it could take more, but it might take less Cursing your guard on jobs, cash in the fake checks Spending fake monopoly money, counterfeit at best When you see something is wrong, you need to counter it best as you can You don't need a magic wand Or to click your heels twice to escape dreamland Just use your mind if you can't relate You're living in an illusion, slave to the dream state you just heard about Drew Ali, don't think he's late He brought nationality and 
Bring back to your east state That's Negro and black We act like we can't see straight Shaken by the shoulders Wake up from their dream state If you just heard about Drew Ali Don't think he's late He brought nationality And link back to your east state As Negro and black We act like we can't see straight Shaken by their shoulders Wake them from their dream state in, 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 Invasion Drew Ali my water when the fire starts blazing Running with no holy buckets the Caucasian While Asiatics daydream and mental stargazing Not paying attention but paying taxes and fines Nas said the world is yours, he really meant mine If I ruled the world you wouldn't want to be black You wouldn't want to be a deadbeat dad or be whack for sure You wouldn't want to be the dirty mall leader Convicted and facing my firing squad either You won't be put in a box, forget the cedar Taking tires off cars at Unexpired meters If I rule the world Dirty moths would hate it Find them with their wrists Slid in bathrooms naked Find them Holding shimmer handles Slumped over With suicide notes To Jehovah If you just heard about Drew Ali Don't think he's late He brought nationality And link back to your east state As Negro and black We act like we can't see straight Shake them by the shoulders Wake them from their dream state if you just heard about Drew Ali, don't think he's late He brought nationality and link back to your east state As Negro and black, we act like we can't see straight Shake them by their shoulders, wake them from their dream state Dream a little dream, wake up from the nightmare Dream a big dream, live your life in fright, scared to change When everything that grows must do such or stay stagnant Living your life as a pageant, made of faces With eyeliner and makeup, created by the same ones you call racist Wake up, allow dead their dignity and exercise Exercise patience. Don't shock them too hard with electrifying statements. Everything cloudy, mind acting rowdy, hypnotized by Pied Piper, signing rap on godlies. Having so much influence, youths won't pull their pants up. Looking like a jailbird, begging for some handcuffs. In a dream state, getting grands up for freedom. Fiat is a slave to banks, you better see them. No different than the people are slaves to brand names. Move from dream to reality, change the landscape. He started from the top, don't listen to your man Drake. Only to Clan hates and Masonic handshakes don't work. Mores are back to your homework and assignments. Realize Morish is the science. You just heard about Drew Ali, don't think he's late. He brought nationality and link back to your east state as Negro and black. We act like we can't see straight. Shake them by the shoulders, wake them from their dream state. If you just heard about Drew Ali, don't think he's late. He brought nationality and link back to your east state as Negro and black. We act like we can't see straight. Shake them by their shoulders, wake them from their dream State. Common sense was made before people sense. Canaan Land Moors presents Common Sense Quick Legendary, bury me in the north case Cemetery, February the fourth day Son of Mary, day ahead of my born day Independence and law makes it a little of a lost case With case laws, we break them down like Jericho Keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio Fake pandemics announced over the radio Annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains I'm rock face, mix it with rock the hard way Common sense was made before people sense. Canaan Land Moors presents Common Sense Quick Legendary, bury me in the North Case Cemetery, February the 4th day Son of Mary, day ahead of my born day Independence and law makes it a little of a lost case With case laws, we break them down like Jericho Keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio Fake pandemics announced over the radio Annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains I'm rock face, mix it with rock the hard way I was in a lost state Prophets told me up right, brought me to a lost gate Cooking like I'm soft bait, prepping like I'm Denzel Michael Max, Deja Vu, Roman J. Israel And no before I lay in plain sight But people still can't see it, so the snake's still showing up Stakes still high, so the race still going up Warriors of the North Gate, we not slowing up Born in the manger, sworn to be savior Walk through the valley of the shadows of the death of the slavery Looking for life, the book of... Common sense was made before people sense it. Canaan Land Moors presents Common Sense Quick Dream.
Legendary, bury me in the North Gates Cemetery, February the 4th days Son of Mary, day ahead of my born day Independence and law makes it a little of a lost case With case laws, we break them down like Jericho Keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Rey Mysterio Fake pandemics announced over the radio Annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains I'm rock face, mixing with rock the hard way I was in a lost state Prophets took me up right, brought me to a lost gate Cooking like I'm soft Prepping like I'm Denzel, Michael Max, Deja Vu, Roman J. Israel And over no I lay in plain sight, but people still can't see it So the snake's still showing up, the stakes still high, so the race still going up Warriors of the North Gate, we not slowing up Born in the manger, sworn to be savior Walk through the valley of the shadows of the death of slavery Looking for life, the book of Genesis, astral plane entrances Invoke the nemesis, abstract images of past lives kicking in Danger, running for your life Finishing Morris or Mark, key man or oracle, using trinity powers to cipher allegorical, lost in metaphorical, holy books are metaphysic, facts like a dirty more or a Drew Ali critic, calling him Thomas or Walter and get your face caved, or cut like a close shave, drowned in my brain waves, squashed by heat waves, activating Kundalini, Abyssinia invaded by Mussolini, Selassie I am exile, reptile in Genesis, Negus appearing real, all I see is false evidence, they are feminists, stomped on by elephants. More like more prejudice, but want moreish benefits. When you feel the pull, magnetic resonance. Apis horns of the sacred book are maleficent. Great cosmic mothers return to blessedness. No pestilence. Ace all the testaments. Tap into remembrance, never to forget again. Use energy right, not put spell effects on men. Wandering the earth plane with no they live shades. Keeps you a mental slave as the horizon fades. It's been decades since Christian crusades. Not enough rebellions, too many visual bouquets. Holding on to the fence, burning on doomsday War ruled by Mars, it might be on a Tuesday Inland Moors presents Comics, then quick, quick What we do here is to add some common sense thinking To everyday situations with more comments that may arise Wanna give it a try? It's a lot more yeah, we had to do that one a few times. Peace and love to all the Moors worldwide. We're carrying on with our honors to the Prophet since it's Moorish American Week. And if you look out there, you see these passive Moors ain't even about putting out anything. They're just doing whatever they do. So we're going to give them our honors because, you know, we're trying to be where Drew Ali's at when we leave here even though people are playing games. Today we got the Mukarabin Files, Richard R. Edwards L. I think he's on Facebook. Could look him up and get you the Mukarabin Files because a lot, a lot, a lot is up in here. So we'll start with this letter right here. Start with this letter. More Science Temple of America. Instructions from the Prophet Noble Juali reincarnated. This is to all Moors. I have reincarnated back on August 7th, 1929, which now is four years. And I am having meetings three times a week, just like I have always did. I didn't come to die. I came to redeem you all from sin. The time is no depression. This is the end of time and the fulfilling of the prophecies. I want you all to know that I, Noble Juali, your prophet, is still in Chicago. I live at 447 East 40th Street, now three years. This message is from Prophet Noble Juali reincarnated. All that believes this message that I am sending by Brother Rosen L will be blessed by Allah. I just want you all to know that I mean to carry out my mission. Any information that you want to know, just write to 447 East 40th Street to your Prophet Nobu Juali. It is my duty to let you all know that I am here. Now I will say peace. Signed, 
Prophet Noble Juali reincarnated. Now y'all know that's some BS. And you have to ask yourself the question. The question has to arise. Well, how come all these reincarnated prophet guys weren't Noble Juali when he was around? Where they come from? Where all these reincarnated prophets come from? As soon as he transitioned, all these reincarnated prophets just just show up. They just show up. People are crescent stars in their eye. People jumping in the seat at the convention, sending out letters talking about their prophet noble Drew Ali and all that. How, how, how is that? How? This is to let you know the work that was put in in order to get the people to think this is some madness and see people talking crazy and say forget that Morris stuff I ain't want nothing to do like that just like the European just said the biggest thing about the Morris Science Temple or whatever that they were teaching about nationality that you're not black and you're not colored and you're not Negro which is rare you know that that's really where it's at so if you go around the world and you look at a map or an atlas you don't see nowhere called black land and Negro land and all that European knows this. European Shriner, mind you, knows this. So if he knows that Noble Juali's program was right and exact, why these people got to be reincarnated? Why don't they just why don't they just carry on the program? Because they were part of the infiltration to get our people to look at this as some madness. So honors to all you Moors who didn't fall for the madness. Honors to all you Moors who didn't fall for the crazy talk and abandon your nationality and birthrights and abandon your prophet, abandon Allah, abandon your ancestors, abandon Moorish movement because some people came into this with money behind them, with fiat, with whatever, gold, silver, whatever they got to play sellout. Honors to you for not falling for it and still having your fezes and turbans on in 2021. Still, still here as Moors. In response to this letter, C. Kirtman Bay filed a series of affidavits and injunctions against John Givens L. in the Cook County Court to stop all activities of the rival faction. Nevertheless, Givens L. continued to teach from his home and through the mail for more than 16 years. It is reported that when he was preparing to die, he directed his followers to a brother known as Allah El. It is taught among his followers that Allah El was born on June 18, 1890, in Trenton, Tennessee, under the name Gullum Johnson. However, other sources reveal that Allah El was really Ira Johnson Bay. It has been said that he received visitors from all over the world while in prison cell in Maynard Prison in Illinois. To explain his name, he has been reported as saying, I am tired of them calling me Jesus. I asked my father to let me use his name. He did. And my name is now Allah El, the son of the Most High God Allah. I am no Christ, and I have no wings. I am an old man. I am a spirit. I am going to my father. When I return, I am going to teach you how to live and be happy. His reference to being tired of being called Jesus and the fact that he was in Maynard prison all point to his identity as Ira Johnson Bay. During his murder trial, it was claimed that Johnson Bay demonstrated the nail prints of Jesus. In any case, Allah El, as he was known, died December 5, 1949 in maximum security in Maynard prison. The actual operation of this fraction between the death of Givens L and that of Allah L Johnson Bay was run by Sidney Rawson L, its national chairman. In 1951, a brother by the name of Reynold Neely L, aka Reynold N L, 
was elected as president of this faction. He held this position until his death in 1980. Upon his death, a brother out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was elected as the new president. This brother's name was Henry Bay, and the present headquarters of this faction is located at 3810 South Wabash Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. Now, all these individuals claiming president, claiming to be Allah, claiming to be supreme this and, and grand that, all of them are in violation. All of them. Every single last one of these people are in supreme violation. Why are they in violation? Because nobody jolly told these Moors uplift fallen humanity. You didn't tell them debate and fight over who's going to be successor and all that. You told these people, go out and redeem the people. Let them know the truth about their nationality and birthrights, especially if they were adept chamber and they had title of grand whatever in the Moorish movement. So the sellout is real. If you thought it wasn't real, know now that the sellout's real. The sellout's super real because a lot of these sellouts are still around here today, still causing confusion in many different shapes and forms. They're out here causing confusion, right? Doing, doing their job, doing their job to confuse. Now let's just see what, how the prophet talked relative to these people. Brother and Sister Wise Bay, Islam, I was greatly pleased to hear from you, from hear from you all, and receive the finance for I needed to help you all. I am glad to see that you all's eyes are open to the game that is about to be played on the eleventh of this month. Allah is in the plain, and let not your hearts be troubled. I will see I will be there Friday to gain all information and my attorney will care for the situation according to law. I would like to know some good decent place to stay because I am not going to stop at the former address I do not think it is safe. Notify all faithful Moors in order to save their labor for their Moorish work in Detroit their temple they will have to watch their enemy and hold their enemy in check. Works alone proves a man to either be good or evil. It was through my hard labor and my finance that built Detroit on a prosperous footing. And I am sorry to find that I found unloyalty to our Moorish laws and obligations. For it layeth not in the members, but in the head whom I trusted and supported. I have everything to tell you all when I get there. May Allah bless you all. Peace. Hoping to hear from you soon from Prophet Noble Juali. And that was February 9th, 1928. February 9th, 1928. I would like to know some good, decent place to stay because I'm not going to stop at the former address because I don't think it's safe. Think he didn't know what was going on? Think he didn't know all these traitors that were around him? He knew exactly who all these traitors were because he's the one that put them in office. Under the guise that they were loyal and faithful to the Moorish movement, which they weren't. Now again, we go back to um, Brother Hannibal Bay, Taj Street Bay's son, speaking about all the different Moors that he spoke to, all the different Moors, elder Moors, that he was in contact with, that put it out there to him. These Mo all these Moors got offered the check to undermine the Moorish movement. All these Moors got offered the check. Anybody who was in some type of authority position, 
anyone who was in some type of authority position in the Moorish movement got offered the check. 99% of them took the check. This is, we're talking about the heads. We're not talking about the membership people. We're talking about the people who had the grand titles, the people who were heads of temples, the people who were heads of subordinate temples. All of them got offered the check. All of them got brought to the vault and told, take what you want. Take what you want. There's the vault right there. Go in, take what you want. And 99% of them, which is why Nobujali is telling you right now, well, you know, I went to Detroit and I didn't trust anybody in Detroit. I trust no one. I trust no one. Find me somewhere to stay because I don't trust any of these Moors out here. And then when you go to the oral statements, Juali told him back then, Chicago and Detroit is doomed for what they did to, did to the prophet. You're going to see grass growing out of buildings. You're going to see animals roaming the street after I'm done with Detroit and Chicago. And Chicago lived on because, you know, that's Mecca. And they had their little um, Moorish sellout over there that we call today Nation of Islam. That they've been there for so long and conditions only keep getting worse there. And they're not getting better. Shouldn't stuff be getting better? Stuff's not getting better. If Nation of Islam is the foundation and there for the salvation of all the people, why are these people still murdering each other and stuff like that in the streets over sneakers or whatever? Over gang turfs and, what, and all this BS. Because they sold out the profit. So once you sell out, it's not the heads who are going to suffer. It's the members. It's the people who are going to suffer. The heads aren't going to suffer. They got their check. They ain't worried about suffering. They got their check. So suffering is not something that they even consider. Just like we talk about with the Moors out here, telling people $5,000 for a package. They buy the package for five grand, they lose their house, lose their car, lose their whatever, and then they come to us crying. Oh, I wish I found you guys first or whatever. If you were studying, you would have found us first. If you were studying not trying to buy your birthrights, you would have found us first. You would have found us first. But people weren't studying. And then when they get to us now, now we got to pull teeth to get some $25 dues from them or whatever because they just gave their life savings to these clowns over here who had no intentions of assisting them or waking them up or liberating them or helping them out of their situation. They could have talked to Grand Sheik Kudro on the phone for five hours for nothing and had all their questions answered. But they didn't want that. They wanted, like the more was saying last night in his thing, they wanted a microwave lesson. They know microwave lesson in this. Either you're going to put your time in or, you know, like Juali said, don't even grab the, the gospel plow. If you're not going to grab the plow and plow this whole 500 acres, don't even touch the plow. Leave the plow alone. Go go find something else to do. Because you're doing a disservice if you're going to touch the plow and then you're only going to do a quarter of the of the 50 acres. Why, why are you only doing a quarter? What, what do you mean? Yeah, well, I'm tired. No, no, you touch the plow. You touch the plow, you're plowing the whole thing. Now, dishes piled up to the ceiling, you're going to go wash one plate and talk about you did your job. You wash one fork. Yeah, I had to wash the fork, so I did my job. So the other moors come behind me and they're going to finish the rest. No, they're not. You're going to do it because you touched it. No different than these people with the power position. Oh, you claim you're a grand sheik? All right, then you better do job as grand sheik. Well, you know, 
tomorrow I think I'm not going to be grand chic because, you know, I just got to get... No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. If you're claiming that you're, you're the, the stuff, then you better get to work. Stop playing around. And these people have been playing around. Set Noble Juali up. Set Pearl up. Set anybody who would set Emilia up. Set all these people up. Who are down with the prophet. Who are, who are here making a, a change. Matter of fact, speaking about making a change, I got a call from... Um, I got a call from an attorney from actually from Mecca about a brother who's up for parole because he got convicted as an adult as a minor he got convicted as an adult as a minor went to prison found out a Moorish science temple found out about Moorish movement corrected his status and all that stuff He's known as Bay in prison. He's known as Bay. Right? So, lawyers calling me because they realize that his case, like many other people's cases, are botched in Chicago. People drop the ball on these people's case. They drop the ball on his case because they tried him as an adult when he was a minor. So they dropped the ball big time. He's been in there. Pfft, he's been in there since he was a teen. He's 40 something now. They tried him as an adult, as a minor. So lawyers going around calling everybody who knows him to find out, well, you know, we want to know really is, you know, is, is he is he real? Like is, is he is he really real? Is he really real? Yeah, he's really real. He's not. He's he he influenced us to be more a science temple. From prison. He influenced me to be grand chic. From prison, writing letters, giving me the lessons. When we first came into this, lawyers sitting there like, wow, like he this this is who they have locked up. Like, wouldn't he wouldn't he serve better being out so he could be an influence to other people who. Are, Right? So there's a certain there's a certain energy that comes with this. And and guarantee you, guarantee you, if you're studying this information, you are going to gravitate to you the individuals who are gonna help you save yourself. You're gonna gravitate them to you just by you studying from the right information you study from the five grand people guaranteed you're not getting anything there's nothing that that's coming from that like we have people um you know anybody who says that they're moors they're posting them no you don't you only post the righteous moors you don't post just because somebody has a fez on you're posting their stuff no you don't because that's causing confusion because these people Majority of these people out here with turbans and fezes on and all that stuff, they don't have any honor. If they had honor, you would know about your birthrights without paying five grand. If they have any honor, you would have Noble Juali, Noble Juali Week put out there by every single individual who claims that they're ahead of something. They would be personally doing exactly what, what I'm doing on here, going live on there, whatever, and they would be doing this on a regular basis, not just, not just January 8th, not just Moorish American week only, right? Oh, don't forget, this is Canaan Land Moors live, so um, put your questions in all caps so it doesn't get lost. In all the comments that Moors are making in there. Honest to the Prophet Noble Juali. Right? No, 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 no. Not not brainwashing, brain dirtying. Because washing is to clean something. And they're not their brain's not getting clean. 
Their brain's getting dirty. So it's brain dirtying. Brainwashing is what we're doing right here. We're brainwashing people to get on the right stuff. I know it's, it's, it's a crazy paradox, but this is really the brainwashing. What they're doing is the brain dirtying. Another one. Islam, brother and sister A. Wise Bay, Detroit, Michigan. Dear brother and sister, I received your letter of the first you know, the first inst, whatever that is, and was very glad to hear from you and hope that when these few lines reach their destination, they will find you both in the best of health. I advise you both to use plenty of my oil and tea and trust in Allah for he alone will do the rest. I will be over there in just three short weeks and to be with you all. Love to all the Muslims. Noble Juali. Is it possible to join MSTA living in another territory or colony? So what we found out, just email Guide at gmail.com and we'll send you the um, honorary membership for our temple because what we found out due to the fact that okay let me back up so when we came into this movement right we came in under the guise or under the tutelage of Dr. Ali Mel Bay we came in under the tutelage of RV Bay Publications, Grand Sheik Nature L Bay, Sheik Esnika L Bay, Taj Tariq Bay, Brother Denim L, Jabbar Gaines L, the Mother Anaida, and uh, other Moors. Right? These were the Moors who all the more science people or whatever were pointing at and say, oh yeah, and don't forget um, Dawid Ali L, Brother Aki Bay, Brother Mentu Hotep Bay, Kenny Umar Bay, Richard Neal Bay. All these Moors were the Moors in 08 who all the temple people were pointing at saying, oh, those Moors are going to get you arrested and those Moors are going to get you in trouble with the law because Ju Ali didn't bring that and all that type of stuff, right? So, in us dealing with those Moors, we came in under a certain mindset with this. And the mindset that we came in is that everybody sold out. Because if you're not going to back these Moors, then you're part of the sellout. So, teaching how we teach is because I didn't take the position of well, because we're more a science temple or we're whatever, we're holier than thou and all that type of stuff. We're just like anybody else out here. We're, we're, just, we're just brothers and sisters just like y'all. Forget titles and all that stuff. We're Moors and that's that. Yeah, we have a temple. Yes, Grand Sheik and all that stuff. But before Grand Sheik, I'm your brother. Before Divine Minister, Grand Governor and all that stuff, I'm just Brother Kudro. It ain't... No big deal. It's not, it's not really that serious. I'm, I'm just a Moorish American. That's it. I really don't want titles really and truly. I could care less about some damn title. Because I already know, like the Europeans said, power corrupts. So, we had so many Moors reaching out to us when we started putting this information out in our, in, in our little way, how we do it. Do it you know, music, music videos, you know what I mean? Having sisters wearing fezes, you know, whatever it is that we're doing. Instead, Allah, Mother of the Universe, changing the prayer to, to, to accommodate the metaphysical people and all that type of stuff. We had so many people coming to us saying, hey, you know, I, I want to be part of your temple because I don't trust these Moors where I'm at. They don't teach how you teach. I don't gravitate to them, da, 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 whatever like that. So we're like, okay, fine. We're going to open up our temple to anybody. Anybody who wants to be a member, you could be a member of Canaan Land Morris Temple. That got these people mad. Because they're saying, well, why would somebody be a member 
of a temple that's not in their territory or their colony or whatever. So then we created the honorary membership. Just like people get honorary degree, they didn't go to university, but they can get a degree just because. Because you're Denzel Washington, we want to give you a degree from our, our school or our whatever, association, organization, whatever like that. We're going to give it to you, but it's going to be honorary. Honorary for us is that we can't do certain things. So, you know, we're not going to step over, um, for example, we're not going to step over Great Seal and create ID for you if you're not in this territory. We only do that for this territory. We only seal documents for people in this territory. But if you want to be a member of a temple, because you honor Noble Juali and you honor Mora Science Temple and you've been to the temple where you're at and they're doing church there and all that stuff, no problem. Fill out our honorary form. You've already been watching our classes for the past two years or whatever like that. You thought that that's just classes that you're watching on YouTube. No, that, that was temple meetings. It's called class, but that was temple meeting. And you were at the temple meetings for the past two years. So, yeah, you're part of our temple. Right? So we put out the honorary forms for people who are outside of Canaan land who wanted to be part of this because they know that there's a spiritual aspect to being part of the temple. Because Juali said, if you have race pride, join the Morris Science Temple. Well, I went to join and those temples over there, I don't want to join them. I want to join you. So that's how people became honorary members of our temple. So yes, we have that option that you can be a member of our temple. It doesn't matter where you're at. And like we're saying now, we got members in Switzerland. We got members South Africa. We got members Morocco. We got members Germany. We got members in all these different states because they didn't have any other option. And we created that option for them, right? So you should be able, now, now this is not something that only we should be doing. This should have been something that all the temples were doing. But if they're sellouts, you already know that they don't have any intentions of you know, fixing this. Right? They don't have any intentions of fixing this. They have intentions of keeping the people confused, keeping the people looking at the Moorish Science Temple and the Moorish Movement as, well, I don't want to be part of that because, and then they list whatever, they see these clowns out here calling themselves Moors doing as the reason why they don't want anything to do with this. Not realizing through lack of study that, this is about your nationality and birthright. This is not about joining some temple and all that, you know, even though that option is there or whatever. Right? Do you think 2021 will be the start of something? Well, like we say, I was talking with um, Mother Raz Mariah today, and we were talking about um, this whole concept of what they created called the boat has left the dock. And then just like the song that we played before this, if you just heard about Drew Ali, don't think that he's late, you're late. So if we think 2021 will be the start of something, stuff started in the 1900s. Stuff been started. You're just getting in tune or you're just getting hip to the game that started 100 plus years ago, right? When we say um, um, starting something from the perspective of they're going to pass a law or pass a bill or pass a whatever, no, that, that's a democracy. They're not doing anything for you. They don't have any intentions of doing anything for you. I don't care what they say that they're doing. They already did everything by putting out all these proclamations talking about Nobujuali week, Nobujuali day, you know, yeah, a couple of them were rescinded or whatever like that, but that doesn't take away the fact that we're Moors. That doesn't take away the fact that we're a nation. Our problem is that we don't trust our own stuff. Our problem is that there's been so much traitorous intent that 
you know, I mean, and we should be of the man, mindset of trust no one. Trust, especially those people claiming to be government, claiming that they got a capital and all that stuff. When when that people are running up and down that like that's Walmart or the mall or something like that. That ain't no capital. That's not no capital of anything. That's democracy. There's no, there's no. Well, we don't want the Democratic whatever. We want the Republican. Well, no, you don't. You don't want the Republican one either. They're a sellout too. They're not. They're not the Republican form of government that you see in the Constitution because they call themselves Republican Party? No, they're not. They're, they're democracy republic. There's democracy, democracy, and then there's democracy republic. None of them are in your best interest. All of them are Whigs, traitors, sellouts that have no intention of seeing you free. The only way you're going to be free is just you do like what the Jews do, do like what the Mennonites do, do like what the Hindustanis do and all that stuff, face everything inward. Not looking for outside anything. Only outside stuff we're doing is, hey, how you doing? Shake hands, you know what I mean? Show some whatever like that, but we're not looking to these people for anything like that. Everything should be coming from the inside. Everything should be coming from the inside. Everything should be revolving with us, with ourself, right? This is again why you have um, instances like um, um, with Rise of the Moors, right? That they were in their territory and ain't nothing there. What are they going to do, sit around and wait? For, for, for more science temple to do something those people sold out so they started their own thing they're honoring noble Juali they're enforcing the law living by the principles love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice they didn't do like people in China make up fake flags and start selling fake IDs and passports and all that they didn't do none of that they stuck to, stuck to the program as to what this is supposed to be and then if you want, you can go be part of their stuff and set up what they got where you're at. Why? Because all these people sold you out. And then all the sellout people are going to look at them and say, oh, no, don't go to them or whatever, because if you go to them, they're not whatever. But then the sheik over there could show you how much books they wrote. And then you ask these traders, hey, you got any books I could buy? And all they could give you is, is Circle 7, Moorish Questionnaire, Oral Statements, uh, and that's it. They're not giving you any books that they wrote themselves. And if they do give you some books, you go start reading through that stuff, you realize that these people are working with the colonists. So like Amor said in the chat, there's plenty work for all to do. Juali said, it's mad work for everybody to do. Nobody shouldn't be able to say that, oh, what, what am I going to do as a more? What do you mean? There's mad work to do. Mad work. I need more background on this because from what I was taught in school, well, Noble Juali said, get you a good European education and he could use you. Noble Juali said, get a good European education and he could use you. So well, once again, rise of the Moors. Brother Jamal Bey went and got a good European education called military, Marines. Now, what's he doing with that right now? <laughs> what's what's Juali doing with him? Because he has that good European education. Using him. Mother Raz. Went to school for publishing or whatever. Journalism. Um, any of these other Moors out here. Got good European education. Juali's using them. So don't look at... at you know, the European education as if you didn't get something. You got something, all right. Problem is, you didn't know what you have. Because the nigger leaders keep telling you about, oh, you can't go to the school because the white man got you that and the white man did this and that. No, no, that's not what's really going on. Because all Europeans were taught by Moors. Didn't you see we just showed the European? How come this European's coming out? 
doing honors to Noble Drew Ali on his 135th birthday and all that stuff. You can't find one nigger leader. Find me one that made a video in honor of Noble Drew Ali in the past 50 years. Find me one. Just one. I'm not even asking for much. Find me one. Find me one black, African, whatever leader who made a video in honor of Noble Drew Ali. He almost went for an hour. It was 50 minutes or something. Find me a nigger leader that did that. Not a nigger leader that say, says to say, oh yeah, Noble Drew Ali is a great man. And then they start going and talking about some other BS. We're not talking about that. Find me one. And then it's the crickets. Then you understand why we're in the situation that we're in as, as a people. Because it's always going to be your own that, that sells you out. It's always going to be your own. Don't look at some European. European did something. European didn't do anything. European did nothing. All these people are traitors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dr. Jose Pimenta Bay, too. Got a good European education. And guess what? Drew Ali used him. Put out the magnificent work called Othello's Children in the New World. If you haven't read that, go get that book. And he's PhD. He got that level of European education. Dr. Ben got Moorish doctorate from Spain. Got law degree from Cuba. I thought all these people say they honor Dr. Ben and all that stuff. They honor him, but they're not studying law. They're looking at Moorish crazy. There's the white man stuff or whatever. Dr. Ben had a law degree. He's a black scholar guy. And he had a law degree. Not only a law degree, he had a Moorish doctorate. What the hell are they talking about? People sold you out. Sold you out to the highest bidder. And, and, get, and again, it's not the sellout who's suffering. They got their mansion. They got their fast car and all that stuff. Their shiny shoes and all that. You're the one with holes in your shoes. You're the one in roach running on the wall. You're the one having to deal with living in the hood and... You know, you can't even walk to the street without dodging bullets or whatever because of these traitors. So trust in the Prophet Noble Juali. Trust in his program. Go to rvbaypublications.com. Go to riseofthemoors.org. Start studying. Start going on Canaan Land Moors YouTube. Stop listening to any and everybody and stick to the ones who are doing not the ones who are talking. Forget the talk. Talking is over. Right? The ones who are doing. Say, why do you do? I don't see you doing nothing, Kujo. You, yeah, whatever. And then these people don't even have a building. We have a two-floor building. We have a Moorish museum. We inspire Moors all over the world to be Moors. I mean, what are we doing? We're doing more than these traders. Way more than all these traders. Yeah, Othello's Children in the New World. Jose Pimienta Bay. Yeah, you found the page because Allah guided you here. Because we tell people all the time. When they call up Grand Sheet Kujo, and they have a conversation, or they send an email, we tell them that. Allah sent you to us. Because we're, we're on the high road. Like, we're on the high road. We're not the low road moors. You might hear me cuss people out and all that stuff. People get mad on the online. Why is he? He's condescending and all that stuff. Pfft, please, stop the BS. Because you guys weren't talking anything when this European talked crazy to you. And you say nothing. You don't have any debate. You just let them talk crazy. As soon as moors talk crazy, now you want to hold moors to divine constitution and all this. Get the hell out of here. Especially if you haven't done anything. Find me a book that any of these traders wrote. Guarantee you if we decipher their book and we shut them down, you're still going to go buy their book. You're still going to go on their YouTube. You're still going to go on their page after we call them out as sellouts. You know how much people send me? I self-law, master brother, truth and all that stuff. After we already 
told you these people are sellouts? People still selling this stuff? All right. It is what it is. Don't get mad. If we don't get mad, we just do what we're supposed to do. And that's that. We don't get mad. Think I'm going to tell them more? No, well, you know, you shouldn't be smoking blunts and you shouldn't be drinking alcohol and you shouldn't be doing whatever it is that you're doing because that, no, what's your, what's your works? Oh, you got something to show? Oh, you went to court, you beat these people's ass or whatever like that? With law? With Drew Ali? <laughs> Smoke all the blunts you want. I care less. You're not hurting me, smoking blunts. I ain't worried. You're not hurting me drinking. You living by the principles? You got your fez on, turban on? You know about your nationality birthright? You honor noble Juali? Do whatever it is that you're doing. I ain't worried about you. Young Pharaoh? Loser. Just go on Canaan Land Mars, Young Pharaoh. Just, just YouTube search that. Canaan Land Mars, Young Pharaoh. And anything that comes up, watch that. And then you tell me if you're going to listen to him after you watch that. After you watch that, if you're still watching Young Pharaoh after that, you're on your own. You're on your own. If we say, if we say, whoever, name name a scholar, Tariq Nasheed, well, well, how come he's calling people black, but his app is called Morris? Isn't that a sellout? Why is he going to call people black if his app is called Morris? Why is he going to call people black if he had the master teachers in his first Hidden Colors video. But then, you know, of course he's going to call people black because Hidden Colored uh, and color is confusion, then Hidden Colors is really Hidden Confusion. And if he, they're playing you. So keep your mind open. Study, study, study from the right source. We suggest, as far as online, your first bet, RV Bay Publications, make sure you go there and study from there. If that's a little too much for you and it's a little too deep, you can go to khalifamedia.com and get some of Grand Sheik Kudrow's books. Get some of the books on there. They're a little bit lighter. Bring you up slowly. Right? You're still kind of whatever like that. Go to riseofthemoors.org. You can go to moorishdirectory.com. And you'll, you'll find your way. And if you got any questions, hit up the DM. Because guarantee you, you're not going to find no more Science Temple, whoever's on IG and on Facebook or whatever, that's going to be giving you the real. They're going to be trying to get you to be this passive, religiousized, pray to Noble Drew Ali, sing hymns to Noble Drew Ali, and that ain't what this is about. No way is this about that. Absolutely not. This is so far removed from that, that you, you realize that people are playing games with you the more you study from the right, the right mores. And that's all it is. You know what I mean? Yep, honorable mores will always help you free yourself. Always. Because there's an obligation that mores have to our people. Because we have something called a holy covenant where we're supposed to look out for our brother and sister and we're not supposed to tell them eight hundred dollars because we had a phone call for for one hour and your consultation fee because you're using my time and all that stuff now if you got some murder case and you're trying to get off that you need writs or whatever then yeah of course you're gonna compensate for the more who's gonna help you get off your stuff but if you just hi how you doing I want to find out about Moors, and I'm telling you about Noble Juali, and then after our conversation, I'm giving you a bill for 500 Please, people are playing games with you. Don't let them play games with you. Don't you dare let them play games with you. That's why you're supposed to study. So, you, so you're not going to have, the, and, and nothing new under the sun. The information's out there. It's just, are you willing to put in the time? Like we said, we know Moors who... They put their, their head in a book. And when they lift their head up, two days went by. We know Moors who said, hey, you know, oh, somebody says, so I'm going to go study this. When they go study, 
And then they lift their head up. Two days went by. Two days. That's how much, that's how much they're putting in. How much are you going to put in? Well, I got to work and I got to sleep. Oh, well, then, you know, you go, on, you go on Blog Talk Radio, MHHS, Eyes Wide Open, and you download all that stuff on there so that you could listen. You don't even have to read and stuff like that. YouTube to MP4 converter down, or YouTube to MP3 converter. Download the YouTube video to your phone as an MP3. Listen to it. So you ain't got no excuse. Nobody has any excuse. Zero excuses. All right. Look at more's at more's on the plantation right now. Chicago Bur Bur Oak Cemetery. Before we close out. To verify the information concerning Noble Juali in your letter November 9th, here is the information that we have. Mr. Drew died on July 20th, 1929. He was buried under the name Noble Ali Drew. The date of burial was July 26th, 1929. The location of his grave is as follows. Acacia Lawn, Lot 44, Grave 7. The permit number is 22054. And no age was recorded at time of death. No age was recorded at time of death. Why, why is no age recorded at time of death for Noble Juali? They know, what, they know when he died. They got a date. How come there's no age that's recorded? Because these reincarnated people are playing games. Right? Because Aaron Payne... Right, you know it's black and white or whatever, but you know it's him with the white gloves, right? Juali laid to rest. Hundreds of Chicagoans attended the funeral last week for Noble Juali, founder of the Moorish Temple, who died at his home after a long illness. Lies. Services were held from the Pythian Temple, and the prophet was buried at Burr Oak Cemetery. Attorney Aaron Payne Ali, wearing white gloves at left, became the new head of the society. Aaron Payne Ali, Chicago lawyer guy, Chicago lawyer guy became Ali and then became the new head. So he's ahead, Givens L's head, Kirkman Bay's ahead, Emilio Leal's ahead. All these people are heads of the same thing. Or are they heads of their own little faction? And again, you know, honors to Emilio because he was holding this stuff together after the Noble Juali transition. And all these people sold out. Supreme honors to the Prophet Noble Juali. Honors to all the Els, Bays, Days, Al's out there. If you're Ali, we're looking at you funny. Because Juali said, don't name yourself Ali. Why are you calling yourself Ali and Drew Ali said don't do that? A Aaron Payne Ali? A Farrakhan Ali? How come? Mm. Definitely, it's definitely treason. And treason is punishable by death, but we can't go around putting the shimitar to the head of these people because they're going to go call highwaymen and all that stuff. So you, you, don't, want, you don't want those issues. So we, we just expose them. That's their, that's their death sentence. Their death sentence is everybody going to know about your folly. And then it's up, to, it's up to the people at that point if they choose to still ride with the five grand for paperwork mores or the sincere, honorable, faithful, trustworthy mores who would give their life for you and your children to have some and their children to have some. So Noble Drawley week ain't done yet. We still got a few days left. So look for more lives. But honors to the Prophet, Noble Drawley. Honors to all the Moors worldwide. 
honors to all the Europeans who ride with this. Because there's Europeans who ride with this too. We got some out here who, you know, they're doing more for the Moorish movement than these Negroes, blacks and coloreds out here who claim that they're for their people and all that stuff. Right? You got Europeans out here doing youth programs, teaching about Noble Juali and all that stuff, and the parents, the Negro black colored parents, kicking them out, talking about why they're teaching their children that. We got Europeans out here who we need the floor laid down, they're going to come lay down the floor. All we got to do is buy, buy the products. They don't even want to get paid to do it. But then we call some brother to do some plumbing or whatever. They're telling you, well, yeah, just give me, just give me five toes and an arm and, and we'll, we'll, do the, we'll do the plumbing for you. Peace and love to all the Moors worldwide. Honors to you. You know, actually, if you know that you're a Moor, you know about your nationality and your birthrights, you know, move your hand to your back and pat yourself on the back for knowing about your nationality and birthrights. Give yourself some honors. Because we know that it's, it's, it's crazy out here. But the fact that you know, the fact that you know about your nationality and birthrights, the fact that you know you could look at your heir and you can call them whatever bay and whatever l because you took noble Juali's lessons and imparted on them give yourself honors give yourself honors you deserve to give yourself some honors because these traitors out here didn't think that you would make it this far they thought they did a good job for their for their colonists handlers but you know the, the the handlers need to fire these people because they did a shit job because we're still here as moors fezzes and turbans up and not confused about what this is about we know exactly what it is that noble juali brought we know exactly what he brought and we are not confused we, we are far from confused about what he brought and of course, honors to all the mothers worldwide. Honors to all the mothers for giving us life. And trust me, these people know what's up. Don't be fooled because they're not talking. It doesn't mean, it means that they don't know. Acquiescence doesn't mean that they don't know. Acquiescence means that somebody's compromised. Because they should be talking up. They shouldn't be acquiescing. Yep, be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. Unless, you know, they're trying to harm you. And you can't flee, then drop the world on them. Once you're, once you're playing harmless as a dove and they don't want to be, they don't want to whatever like that, they don't want to do the harmless dove stuff or whatever, it's okay, no problem. Turn around and drop the world on them. I bet you they stop their BS after that. I guarantee you they stop their BS. Study, study, study. And when you studied and want to know what should I study next, there's so much stuff subject matters out here, what do I need to know and all that stuff? Look within and study yourself. Take Noble Juali's lessons very serious. I don't care what you are told about him. That Holy Quran, Circle 7, you study that, get yourself in order, get your family in order. That one-on-one -on -one questionnaire, that's an encyclopedia. You're going to find out so much information just studying from one-on-one -on -one questionnaire, it might turn your brain to water. So, so slow down. And the Moorish literature, make sure that you read 
Noble Drew Ali's writings. Oh yeah, and a key for the Moorish literature, know that everything Noble Drew Ali said was in the first person. If it's not written in first person, the, you know, sort of don't yield from it, but take your time with it. Because Noble Drew Ali always wrote in first person. Right? I, Noble Drew Ali, he wrote like that. You know, Noble Drew Ali said that he's going to whatever. As soon as, Drew, as soon as you see third person talking, know that that might be a traitor trying to tell you some stuff Drew Ali didn't say. So be, be mindful. Peace and love to all the Moors worldwide. Honors to all. Supreme honors to the forerunner, Marcus Garvey. Give him his honors too. And of course, honors to the prophet, Noble Drew Ali, for the great work that he did waking us up to the truth about our nationality and our birthrights, that we are not Negro, Black, Colored, or Ethiopian. Oh yeah, and then the European was saying, I don't know why they say, you know, because European, Ethiopians are nationality. Ethiopians are nationality, but Ethiopia comes from Ethiopia, which is Greek. And we know those people over there aren't Greek. We know they're not Greek. Most definitely, they're not Greeks, so they wouldn't be Ethiopian. Just something for consideration. Peace and love, Moors. Islam. And again, honors to the Prophet Noble Juali for everything that he did. Keep his legacy alive by being yourselves. Islam.